Why any further, have a black any in further front of interruptions table? will result in you being removed to the other courtroom okay, because you're not letting move, move on okay. to scheduling. Less than a week after a jury convicted Daryl Brooks in the deadly Waukesha parade rampage, he was back in court to schedule his sentencing. And again, challenging the judge questioning why he's now on suicide protocol. The very second that I left your courtroom Wednesday, Your Honor, I was placed on suicide watch. I was told that it was per jail administration. Um, that it was policy, it was nothing I could do about it. In less than 15 minutes, the judge kicked Brooks out of the courtroom. I'm going to ask the state some questions. If you interrupt when I do that, you will be removed to the okay, other courtroom. Me in. Brooks sparring with the judge over her decision to seal records of the leg restraints he wore at trial. Brooks claims they were shock devices. I was limited by a shock device that if I moved the wrong way, I could have got shocked with all this voting. It's absolutely false that you that have shocked the vice That is not false, and you know that it's not false. Brooks represented himself at trial Monday, questioning a bailiff about the security measures. Do you recall me asking what was being placed on my ankles? That I don't. If you did, we would have told you it was a, just an ankle restraint. Uh, there was no shock device on your ankle, sir. Brooks is expected to spend the rest of his life behind bars for killing six people and injuring more than 60 others last November. I think there's a strong desire to have the sentencing before the anniversary of, um, of the parade incident, and that obviously is November 21st. Prosecutors say nearly 40 victims are expected to speak at sentencing set for November 15th. Brooks says he too will have supporters speak on his behalf. Uh, rough estimate there be 20 or more. Um, I have not yet spoken with everybody, obviously, because of the protocol that I've been on. Hillary joins us once again. Now, Brooks also says he plans to appeal his conviction. Right, so he actually wrote this letter to the judge uh, saying, I plan to appeal my conviction and we'll address it in court Monday, but he never brought it up today. And of course, an appeal cannot be filed until after sentencing.